What's up guys? So today's video is just going to be kind of a conglomeration of a few different videos that I've collected over the past week. As you can see, all the geckos are doing really well in here. Ever since I added a new light, which I'll show in this, then my male really enjoys sitting up right here on top of this bromeliad. Um, my Nepenthes pitcher plant keeps falling out a lot, mostly because my gecko keeps burrowing into that substrate there, so I keep having to replace it. Um, I have this little food basket set up right here. I refill that every morning and by the evening it's gone and then I gotta fill it up for my crested gecko who's hanging on right there. But most of the plants are doing really, really well. Um, I've had a little bit of die off, but it, mostly everything's growing well. You can see these philodendrons are growing really, really well. They've also been sending off new shoots. My orchids are doing fairly okay. Uh, my ferns are really kind of bouncing back to life throughout the tank. A lot of my vining philodendrons, like the ones that I had up here, they're pretty much all gone. Um, I do have some that are still growing down here at the very bottom. But, um, and then this Hoya has been sending runners up this, the whole tank, but it hasn't really been sending out new leaves. And then the Margravia in here has been doing really well. But uh, let's get to it to the rest of those videos. All right, guys, so as you can see, my day geckos really love at the top corner of this tank. I think it's because it's the UVB bulb. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I switch out my lights. So when I built this tank, I had really limited space at the top. I only have about 14 inches by 12 inches on the upper panel of usable space. And so I just used an existing ZoomEd up to sun uh, light that I already had, but I'd noticed over the last couple of months it just doesn't produce the amount of light that my plants need to grow, so a lot of them lost their color. Um, if you look at my first video, you'll see those bromeliads were super bright pink and red, and now they're just kind of green. And so what I did was I went on Amazon, I looked around, and I found some Dominia, Dominia LED grow lights, just these little panels. They come in sets of two which are super nice. They're able to be conjoined. I ended up putting one on the Vivarium right next to this well just because I couldn't get the power supply cable into the actual tank, um, but this little connector cable would fit. So what I did was I just used the little suction or sticky pad um, connectors that came with the lights and just stuck it to the top of the tank as I put that in. It's a little bit warmer of a light that I would like, but it kind of helps that I have the UVD bulb up there as well, and so it kind of fixes that issue. Um, I did update my fogger in this, so it now fills this up in about three minutes or so, um, and it's great for plants. Uh, as you can see, day geckos have no qualms about exploring and going right back to their little bot in front of the glass. But um, it's a great little tank, it really works well, and this light, I've had it in for about a week now. And I've already seen a lot of color coming back into the plants, and I've noticed some more new growth since I did that in. So this is a really exciting discovery. So I was misting this tank, and I keep having a problem with my little Nepenthes pitcher plant falling out. But what I just discovered is that I have a little day gecko one of my females climbing out of that little spot. So, now that I have a male, that may mean that she is preparing a nest. Sorry with the lighting in this, it's just really bright. But, that is exciting news here. So I thought I'd just show you guys what I have to go through a couple times a week with cleaning this cage. Because my day gecko spends so much time on the front of the glass and right at the beginning, then it just ends up being that their little fecal matter ends up all over the front of this tank, especially down at the bottom here. So I have to vacuum that up a couple times a week and then I normally use a 1 8 solution white vinegar, horticultural white vinegar to water um, to help clean the glass and disinfect it. But um, here's a little time lapse of what that looks like. So now you can see the glass is much, much cleaner. No speckles on the front. I didn't clean the side, but you can just see the difference in between side glass 
and the front glass with that white vinegar solution. And then really quickly, I'm gonna show you guys what my fogger and fan setup look like. So here's the fogger system I use. It's actually just a little humidifier that I got from Ace Hardware. It's really nice. You, you can just use a normal water bottle up top or you can also convert and use a two liter. Um, out of that, then I just use, it's actually leaking right now. I need to reseal that. But it's just a bunch of different piping pieces put together just to a T-stop divider and dive some hoses, really jury rigged. And then I also have it going into this enclosure here just comes out the back on when it's on high it'll fill this up in about three minutes or so I also put in this little computer fan for ventilation I paid about seven bucks for four of them off of Amazon and this humidity humidifier costs 25 from Ace Hardware so really cost-effective I didn't mention this earlier but the light I only paid $14 for that so this is an experiment to see if it's actually gonna help my plants grow. I have been seeing more color like this. Uh, Cryptanthus has been getting a lot more pink in the last week. Same thing, you can see my bromeliad is getting pink again here. And then this is starting to pick up the red color as well, which it had all lost. But um, yeah, everything's working out really well. Well folks, that's all for this week's video. Thanks for watching and coming in. I should be uploading uh, again in the next two weeks. But for now, enjoy this time lapse of the fog failing at the blueberry and the geckos wandering around. Thanks and have a blessed week.